this is pretty cool for me because I'm here. We've got three generations of Eichler. This is my dad, Fred Eichler, and my son, Trent Eichler. So you got three generations of Eichler here. We're on the range. We're doing a little shooting. Dad's got an antelope buck tag. We're going to try and get him a, a beautiful antelope buck, which would be his second if we get one. And uh, Trent is out here to do a little shooting with Grandpa. All right, you're shooting left target. Dad's shooting the right, right? 10-4. All right, I got the spotting scope. So, Dad, let's go ahead and check yours Locked whenever you're ready. Yes, sir. It's nice. Six o'clock. Man, we adjusted that thing, so we're uh, one, I see two, three, there. four inches low. That's so, sick. hold on one sec. So, go to 200, shoot the right target Ooh. again, because I'll have Trent shoot the left. And if you feel good about the shot, We'll, we'll adjust from there, but based on that 100 yard shot, Dad, you ran a perfect line left and right up. And so now that I'm gonna drop this turret on, and we just dead zeroed it at two. Right. So that's at two. So then all I have to do is that turret from loophole to set up for this particular hornady round that we're shooting. So now, you don't even have to hold it, I don't think. Would you? Yeah, that may be good. Hold it on there. We're going to dial this in. Wouldn't hurt to hold it on there. Huh? And then, what's cool is we can roll it to 300, 400, mm -hmm. and 500 yards. And they have already figured out the drop. Now you can let it go. They've already figured out the drop and everything else. And it's literally just three set screws, but that's dialed right into your... Mm -hmm. upper turret there so now now we are set man so we know we're set at two but that's what's cool see it says 7.62 168 yeah, I saw that when yep, you 168 green bull and shooting 2700 feet per second I set it up for an average of 7,000 feet because right here we're, where we're going to be antelope hunting tomorrow it's only going to be about 55 mm -hmm. 5500 but up at the west ranch we'll be we're, we're at 7,000 I set it for an average of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Shoot, it's pretty so you, has, you have it all that, the, the temperature and all too. Huh? Yeah, so you're even running an average, you know, temperature range. Because when you start shooting, as you know, 600, yeah. 800, you know what I mean, long range, which, and like you, I don't like shooting that long on an animal, but I think shooting longer shots makes you a better shot. Trigger control and everything else that you taught me. From when I was young. To turn this, you pushed it in, I assume. That's correct. It. So it's and it got goes some, all the way down to 75, 75 700, yards. 750. So the seven is 700 yards. So now we can go this way. So that's 200. Yeah. And this is this is the lock, so it won't let you mess it up and go below 200. Gotcha. So anything from zero to 250, you don't even have to worry about. Just leave it right there. You're going to be nuts oh, within okay. an inch. So if it's inch a hundred yard half. shot, don't worry about it. Leave it on 200. Yes, sir. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you sit down okay. and let's go. I'm going to let you do it so you can get used to it. But you can see the little marker right there. Roll it to 300 and shoot the 300 yard plate. Hold that on. Okay. Um, the only thing you have to start doping is the wind, but we don't have a lot of wind today. So she should be pretty dang close. All right. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Right in the center of the plate. The is that cool? <laughs> I saw it move. So now, you heard, you saw it hit? No, I, I saw it move. Oh yeah, you saw the plate swing before we heard the report? Yeah. Now, here's where you're going to be impressed. You were in the military. You were special forces. You shot a lot. Yeah. Now, just dial that to 400 and now aim at the 400 yard plate and hold that on. <laughs> And you know the drop on a 308 at that rate. Yeah, she should be about 18 inches. Yeah, so you're starting to get a rainbow trajectory now. But this is where this is cool. So go to the first one that, with the painted white on both sides, plate in the middle, and try this one out. All right, I want it. I'll I think Grandpa kind of likes the CDS. <laughs> I do like Who it. Who doesn't? <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. All right, ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. 400 yards. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Hit! Nice shot! Nice shot. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> that really is. Nice that shot. That is very cool. All right, so now <laughs> dial it to 500 
Uh, let's do the 500 yard play. Uh, okay, 500 it is. Nice shot. Hit! <laughs> nice shoot. Was it a good shot? On it this? was. You were, this time you're about three inches low, so we could tweak that, huh. but that's out to 500 yards. That's incredible. Is that cool? That really is. That is absolutely incredible. You're going to want a CDS, aren't you? Oh, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't have stuff like that. No, never. So you were we doping. We had to learn our range and we had to guesstimate it. Okay, it's, it, it, it. this is wonderful. This is incredible. Isn't that cool? 500 yards. All right. We knew he'd like it, huh? Yeah, we did. This is cool. <laughs> nice shooting. You know, it's always cool being able to introduce people to different things. <laughs> and my this dad, was good. My this dad taught great. me to shoot. I taught my son, Trent, to shoot. And it's really cool to be able to bring my dad here to the range and go, check out this, dad. This is the new Loopboat CDS. And you don't have to guess anymore. You can hold that on. That's cool. Fantastic. All you need is a range finder now. Yes. No, that, and that's you very important. Range. That's, that's a right. key point. When you're shooting the CDS, it's incredibly accurate. Trent knows he's been shooting them for a while now, but knowing that yardage is super important. And as you can see on that scope, some of them are five yards, some of them are 10 yard increments. So you can really set it up exactly. If it's 545 yards, you can dial it into 545 right down yards. Where you need it to be. You got it. It's wonderful. Good shooting. All right, you ready to do some antelope hunting tomorrow? I'm gonna, hey, 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 I'm going to smoke one tomorrow. <laughs> let, let it go out 500 yards. It's in huh? trouble. It's in trouble. <laughs>
because you had a little grass, right. you know what I mean? Didn't feel confident, just said, well, we're gonna wait. And we'd made how many? One, two, three. We came around over here on him and they boogered down our, in the that bottom. Was probably our fifth stalk on him. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. probably our fifth stalk. And, and man, you got set up on the bog pod and his does were feeding below this dam here. So it was perfect. And you could just see the bock, but mm -hmm. it was great because you could see from about here, from about here up on him. And I said, hold right at the brown, <laughs> brown it's the white. <laughs> and you made a great shot. And Pop, that's a trophy antelope. I mean, that really is, that's a, that's a monster. I mean, that's probably a 13 and a half inch might even be 14 inch goat got beautiful cutters you know mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. a that's a high 70s inch goat big mass yeah just nice look. gorgeous very nice look and we had antelope for dinner just the other night so you know <laughs> we're gonna have it again <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have antelope again all right fred thank you i love good, you it was a good hunt i love you son and it was a, a good hunt I appreciate it. Thank you. And and thanks for instilling a, an appreciation for for all this in me. I appreciate it.